So for right now, the app looks like this. And the UI that I'm going to be using is at this website, bootday.com. So if you navigate to this URL, you'll land onto this page and you can see this snippet that you can use. And you can use it. It's under a free MIT license. As you can see here, permission is your granted free of charge to any person obtaining a copy of the software, blah, blah, blah. So you can use this template uh, or snippet. And if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see the HTML code for it. So you can just copy that to your clipboard and then paste it wherever you need to. And here's the custom CSS styling for this. So um, this whole snippet is using Bootstrap, but there's a little bit of custom styles that you need, and that's down here. And you can just copy it to a clipboard and then paste it to your style. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, paste the HTML code for this along with the CSS, and then I'm going to import Bootstrap into the project as well. So if you don't know what Bootstrap is, obviously I'm assuming you guys know what it is. It's a CSM framework that's like extremely popular. You can just Google Bootstrap and then you'll see what it is. And there's like tons of resources online that you can use to learn it. So let's go ahead and make our app look pretty. I'm going to go to the application and I need to go to the template. So I'm going to go to the template and I'm going to remove all of this and then paste the code for the snippet that I just showed you. So I'm going to paste it. I'm going to close that for now. And then I need to bring in everything for Bootstrap and the custom style. So I'm going to go to the style for this app. So scroll down to the bottom. You will see this file called styles.css. And then in there, you can import style, like you can import a CDN, or you can just add custom styling or whatever CSS styles that you want. So I'm going to go back to the website and scroll down. I need to copy this. So I'm going to copy it back and paste it. I don't think we're using this body here, uh, but I'm just going to leave it anyways. And then I need to import Bootstrap because this is powered by Bootstrap and this part is only the custom CSS styling for this. So we need to import Bootstrap as well. So I'm going to go up here and then paste the Bootstrap link along with the font awesome uh, CDN so that we can have access to the little icons that we saw. So now if we go back, and I'm going to zoom out and close this for now. You can see we have this navigation bar and then we have this card right here, which is the same card as, as this one. We just haven't put in all the information on it yet, but it's the same card. So I'm going to walk you through the template a little bit. So let's go back to the app and I'm going to collapse this, close this style and I'm going to scroll up. So at the top, I have a navigation. So as you can see from line one to line 16, this is the whole nav bar. And then I have a form here. So this is this form right here to search an employee, which is this form from line 12 to line 14. And then I have a button right here and it's this button right here. So I can click it. Well, I can't click it now because it's not going to do anything, but this is the button, which is add employee. So what I want to do is to loop over these cards and increase as many cards as I need for every single employee. So let's go back to the app and the same way that we did earlier when we were just showing the names of the employee, uh, we can do something similar. So I'm going to go up here and as you can see here, we have the cards right here. So from line 20 to line 40, that's just the card information with the buttons on it and everything. So I can just go here and the element above, and then I'm just going to do an ng4. So I'm going to do star ng4 and set that equal to let local variable, so employee of employees, which is the variable coming from the template. So just so you guys remember, if I go back to the template, I'm referencing this employees here, which is the arrays of all the employees that I'm getting from the back end. And just, I'm just creating this local variable here for every single one of those as I loop through them. So now I can use this local variable and this card, and that's going to create as many cards for as many employees. So I'm going to copy this. And for the image right here, I'm going to pass in this employee dot image URL. And another thing I want to do is to put a safe navigation operator. So it's going to look like this. You just put a question mark. So what this is doing is it's making sure that this employee exists before it tries to access any attributes on that employee, uh, which is a safe way to navigate to a certain attribute. So sometimes if you don't have that and then the browser is trying to parse this URL right here or whatever it is that you're trying to access on that employee and that employee doesn't exist yet or it's not loaded yet, then it's going to throw an error in the browser. So to avoid that, 
you put this question mark right here and that's just a safe way to navigate to attributes on an object. So I'm going to come down here. I'm just going to copy this. And in the H5, I'm going to just put the name of the employee. So I'm going to do name. And in the paragraph here in the P, I'm going to add the job title. So I'm going to do this and do job title. And then I'm going to go down below here. I'm going to put the email. So I'm going to do email. And then here, I'm just going to do the phone. And phone. And I need another curly braces. One here and one more here. And I need another one here. Okay, so I'm going to save this and make sure this reloads. Open the terminal. You can see it compiled successful. Oh, it's compiling right now. Just give it a second. Okay, so let's go back to the browser. As you can see here, we have all the information. It doesn't look quite right, so I think I miss a curly braces in the employee name. So let's go back. And right here, I'm just going to put the closed curly braces and save and let it rebuild. And go back. And let this refresh and now you can see we have all of the information for all the employees and i don't see the email as you can see here the email is missing so let's go ahead and fix that so i'm gonna close this go down and that's because we put this in the icon so we have to remove this here and put it in the li which is the list item and save it and go back let this reload and now our UI looks good. So for now, this is all we're doing is just listing all of the employees and those buttons are not working. So we're going to have to work on those buttons as well. As you can see, we didn't have to create all this HTML code ourselves. So it's really helpful to just use those templates and then just leverage them or just make slight modification. And as you can see here, I remove all of the social links because I'm not using them. So that was pretty easy. But then I use everything else and that looks pretty cool. So that's another thing in software development. So you have to leverage as, as much code as you can. Now, you always have to give credit to the author of a piece of a code. But if you can leverage something, then you have to leverage it. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. So I'll see you guys in the next one.